Good evening, CSB family, at salat na ating mga kapatid sa Body of Christ. Welcome to our online hunger night here at Church So Blessed. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. And for those who are tuning in right now, kindly tag your friends and loved ones sa ating comment section para makasama po natin sila ngayong gabi. And you can also share this video sa inyo pong mga news feed. So let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just want to thank you for another Wednesday evening. And Lord, we just want to experience more of your presence in our lives. Holy Spirit, continue to guide us and reveal to us yung mga salita na magiginig namin that would give us, Lord God, um, strength and also uh, magamit namin, Lord God, all throughout this week. Lord Jesus, thank you so much once again for the love and the grace that you have poured out on us. We just love you, Lord. We just give back everything to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So let's now begin our celebration by singing songs of praise together with our praise team.
I just declare you're here. Your presence is here. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. Show up.
Thank you, Father God. Lord, we just want to remain in your love. And Lord, we also want to hold on to the hope that everything will turn out for the better. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always interceding on our behalf. And through your Holy Spirit, Lord, we always experience your guidance and also your anointing that you're continuing to use us lord god for spreading and for advancing your kingdom here on earth lord it is truly a privilege to be loved by the king of kings and the lord of lords and we just give back everything to you in jesus mighty name amen muli po maraming salamat sa ating praise team for leading us in that wonderful worship and for some of our announcements, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang ating Hunger Night. That's every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And on Friday, Healing is Yours online naman po. And tune in to the Hiram Gospel Pangilinan Facebook page. And on Sunday, we still have our Batang CSB starting at 10 a.m. to be followed by our regular worship service at 10.30 a.m. with replays at 5 p.m. And this coming February 20th, Nibitam po namin lahat ng mga young adults to join us on the first Park Y event entitled LDR Love Connects. And that's at 2 p.m. and that will be via Zoom. And for further details, just visit our Spark YAQC Facebook page. Ngayon naman po for our tithes and offerings, ipa-flash po namin ang mga bank details sa screen. And we just want to thank once again our generous givers for helping and supporting po ang ating church with the activities and also for spreading the good news to people na alam natin na um, gusto makarinig po ng salita ng Panginoon. 
Hey everyone, inviting all the young adults ages 24 to 40 years old to join our Facebook group. It is called Spark YAQC. There you can be in touch with us to join a revival group, pray together, and of course join our fun, exciting events that we have monthly. So check out our highlights that we've had through the past year and hope to definitely see you there. And without further ado, let's now proceed with the Word of God. Ito yung na po natin ang ating mga puso't isipan sa pakikinig. At ito na po ang ating pong, uh, minamahal na pastor, si Pastor Hiram Pangilina. Amen! Maraming salamat! Good evening! Hello dear people! Welcome to our Hunger Night. I trust that we continue to hunger for God. Alam po ninyo, nobody else can satisfy, nothing else can satisfy. Itong mundong ito can offer us different ways, different forms of entertainment para ma, 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 we while away the time, ika nga. But no one else, nothing else can satisfy the hunger in our spirits except the presence of God. Amen? Kaya ngayon po, it's hunger night. I trust that we're all hungry for more. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, Holy Spirit, once again, we confess we need you. We hunger for you. And we pray that you will meet with us again tonight, Lord, as we meditate on your word. Speak to us in a very clear manner. At busugin niyo po ang aming mga spirito. Salamat. Cover me with your blood, Lord, and guide me in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Alright, patuloy po tayo sa ating pag-aaral from the book of Acts. No? At ngayon, tiyaran, nasa Acts chapter 20 na po tayo. Acts chapter 20, we start in verse 1 down to verse 12. Let's read. When the uproar had ended, so naalala nyo, nagtapos tayo last week doon sa uproar. Yung great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Pinag-aralan natin the different levels of warfare. You remember? At yung mga tao in the strategic level. Ulitin natin na ground level, occult level, and the strategic level. The strategic level has to do with the principalities. no? And they were all in an uproar. And the great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Nagsisigawan sila. Ito na po yung continuation. When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for the disciples and after encouraging them, said goodbye and set out for Macedonia. He traveled through that area, speaking many words of encouragement to the people and finally arrived in Greece, where he stayed three months. Because some Jews had plotted against him just as he was about to sail for Syria, he decided to go back through Macedonia. He was accompanied by Sopater, son of Pyrrhus from Berea, Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from Derby, Timothy also, and Tychicus and Trophimus from the province of Asia. These men went on ahead and waited for us at Troas, but we sailed from Philippi after the festival of unleavened bread, and five days later, joined the others at Troas where we stayed seven days. Well, sa pasimula po ng ating reading, yun lang muna, no? And we're going to look at this, the title for tonight, The Faithful Minister. Ulitin natin, The Faithful Minister. We're going to look at the Apostle Paul and I would say that the Apostle Paul would be a very good model for what it means to be a faithful minister. Now, as I continue on, I just want to say this, no? ito pong sermon na ito, ito ay para sa ating lahat. Ikaw man ay pastor, ikaw man ay, uh, ay a small group leader, ikaw man ay usher, ikaw man ay intercessor, ikaw man ay... Uh, ay church goer or member pastor ako taga upo lang praise team you know what i've always said this time and again no 
every member is a minister. And so as we look at the Apostle Paul, ang gusto ko po, look at him, that we will all look at him with eyes that will um, um, look for what are the good traits in the Apostle Paul that we can emulate as ministers. Gagayahin natin itong si Apostle Paul because he is truly a faithful minister. So, let's start. Ano-ano ba ito makikita natin kay Apostle Paul na tayong lahat, pastor ka man o hindi, ay dapat tularan natin si Apostle Paul. Una, sabi sa verse 1, When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for the disciples. And after encouraging them, said goodbye and set out for Macedonia. Now, this is a powerful verse. Ang sinasabi po rito basically was this. Noong nagkaroon ng uproar, what the Apostle Paul did was he sent for the disciples. Sent for, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ito po yan ha. In the voice Bible, this is what it says. As soon as the uproar ended. Dahil nagkagulo eh. Nagkagulo doon sa Ephesus. At uh, th there was a mob that really wanted to... to destroy Christianity, to, to kill the Christians. Sabi sa The Voice Bible, verse 1, As soon as the uproar ended, Paul gathered the disciples together. As soon as the uproar ended, Paul gathered the disciples together and encouraged them once more. Now, that is crucial. And here we get the first lesson. Kung ikaw ay isang true minister of God, Meaning to say that you are one that God has given a responsibility to. A minister, number one, is concerned with the church people. Yun po yun. Si Paul, nung nagkaroon ng uproar, nung nagkaroon ng riot, nung nagkaroon ng mob, the first thing that he did, he gathered the disciples together. After the uproar ended, Paul gathered the disciples together and encouraged them. What does that show you? Ang puso po ni Apostle Paul was for the people of the church. He was concerned. Kumbaga, siya ay, uh, he was not just thinking of himself, he was thinking of the people. He was thinking of the church people. Tanungin ko nga kayo, nito po nakalipas na dalawang taon Habang hindi nagkakaroon tayo ng mga on-site gatherings, well, of course, of those um, um, from March 2020 to um, January, I would say, of 2022, mahaba-haba rin yan, almost two years, no? Kayo ba iniisip niyo, kumusta na kaya yung mga taga-church? Kumusta na kaya yung mga ka-RG ko? Kumusta na kaya yung mga um, um, kasama ko sa fellowship? How are they doing? Were you thinking of them? Or those people that God has placed under you, are you thinking of them? Or is it, uh, basta ako buhay, hindi po po pwede yun. I have something to confess to you. Ito po nakalipas na halos dalawang taon. My concern was, kumusta na kaya yung mga daughter churches ng CSB? Kumusta na kaya yung lahat ng mga pastors ng CSB? Kumusta na kaya yung pamilya ng mga pastor na ito? And then, kumusta na kaya yung mga members ng CSB Mother Church? Kumusta na kaya yung ating mga age-level ministry heads? Kumusta na kaya ang praise team? Kumusta na kaya ang ushers? These are all in my mind. Because if we are true ministers of God, then we must be thinking about the people that we minister to. Kumusta na kaya sila? At yun po ang puso na makikita natin dito kay Apostle Paul. He had in mind the church people. So, immediately after the riot, immediately after the riot, sabi niya, hali kayo, mag-gather tayo, mag-gather tayo. This brings to mind yung sinabi sa John 10 4, again from the Voice Bible. Ang sabi rito, when all the sheep have been gathered, si Jesus ang nagsasalita rito, He walks on ahead of them and they follow Him because they know His voice. Ang isa raw pong minister will gather the sheep. Everybody say, gather. Kaya ako tuwan-tuwa. 
na tayo po nagkakaroon na ng on-site gathering. Because at least now, I can see you physically, I can see people physically. Ay, yung iba sa inyo, o marami sa inyo, hindi ko pa nakikita physically. But there will come a time. Wag po muna, wag po muna until you hear the announcement na talagang pwede na, no? But for now, I am just so happy that the on-site gatherings have started. At nakikita natin kung musta na ang kalagayan ng mga tao. A true minister will be concerned. Dito po sa kwentong ito, si Apostle Paul, he did a head count. Kumbaga, ali kayo, ali kayo. When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for them and encouraged them. Just like Jesus. Everybody say, just like Jesus. Kumbaga, si Jesus yung perfect model eh. At siya rin ang ginagaya ni Apostle Paul. So you remember the story of Jesus in the prodigal yung uh, the, the the prodigal sheep ano in Luke 15:4 let me read Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it Ganun eh hahanapin mo ngayon po itong akin namang ihihingi ng tulong sa inyo Obviously, I cannot keep tab. Hindi ko nasusundan ang lahat. But if you know of some brothers, if you know of some sisters in the Lord, na parang hindi ko yata nararamdaman si brother ganito. Hindi ko yata na nararamdaman si sister ganito. Not even in the comment section. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Maski na emoji, wala man lang paramdam. I-text ninyo. Kumustahin ninyo. Bakit? Because a faithful minister is one who is concerned with church people. Everybody say concerned. Yun po yun. Importante iparamdam natin ang ating concern sa bawat isa. Ang tunay, ang tunay na minister, ang tunay na shepherd, ang tunay na small group leader, ang tunay na asher, ang tunay na intercessor, ang tunay na anak ng Diyos for that matter, may concern tayo sa ibang tao. Amen? Naalala ko po rito. I, well, I studied in a public school in Tondo and right beside the public school, nandun po yung malaking simbahan ng Tondo. No? At itong malaking simbahan ng Tondo, may trompa yan eh. <laughs> At dito, yung trompa, natutunan ko yung isang kinakanta ron lagi nung pare. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Huwag na tayo sa mamatay. <laughs> Pero sa lahat ng nabubuhay, we don't live just for ourselves, lalong-lalo na kung minister ka ni Lord. If you're a true minister of God, you are concerned for other people. Amen? Everybody say, I am concerned. All right, let's move on. Ano pa makikita natin dito kay Apostle Paul? Nasa verse 4. Sabi rito sa verse 4, so he decided, ito pa po pala ha, si Apostle Paul, he decided to leave, no? Umalis siya, umalis siya. He set out for Macedonia, sabi rito sa verse 1. Bakit siya umalis, Pastor? Ganito po eh. Nung narealize ni Apostle Paul na sandali, itong mga Kristiyano dito sa Ephesus, they are in danger because of me. They are in danger because of me. So, the Apostle Paul thought about it. Sabi niya, kung mapapahamak lang ang mga Kristiyano dito sa Ephesus because I am here, I might as well leave. Kaya po siya umalis. Kita niyo, pati sa decision making niya, ang iniisip niya, ayaw ko na mapahamak itong mga tao rito. Ayaw ko mapahamak ang mga brothers and sisters dito. That should be our heart. That should be how we think. Amen? Again, sabi natin, I am concerned. Alright, let's move on. Sabi ngayon dito, in verse 4, ito si Apostle Paul, so tuloy-tuloy siya sa pagmimisyon eh. Ephesus, and then he went to Macedonia, and then in verse 4, sabi, he was accompanied by Sopater, son of Pyrrhus from Berea, Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from From Derby, Timothy also, and Tychicus and Trophimus from the province of Asia. Verse five. These men went on ahead and waited for us at Troas. Ano na pa siyoryito? 
Ito po yan. Yung mga taong ito na kasama ni Apostle Paul came from the different cities where the Apostle Paul ministered in. And here we get the second lesson. A minister grows disciples wherever he goes. A minister grows disciples wherever he goes. Kung baga kung saan magpunta si Apostle Paul, meron at meron at meron siyang ma-influence. The Apostle Paul, we can say he was not just a professional hireling. Alam mo yun na, o oh, sige, babayaran kita, magsalita ka tungkol kay Jesus. Nakakalungkot po ito. I, I heard, I actually heard this from someone. Sabi niya, sabi niya, I won't name him anymore. Pero sabi niya, may nagsabi raw sa kanya, Ho, oh, magaling ka naman magsalita eh. Halika, isasama kita doon sa church namin. Pwede tayong mag, mag, uh, i-assign ng church namin, sabi niya. At kung magaling ka magsalita, ayun, kikita na tayo. Nung kinuwento sa akin yon, para akong naiinis na nagagalit na naaawa. Na ano? Dahil magaling ka magsalita, o tara, magtayo na tayo ng church, kikita ka naman eh. That is just the wrong heart to minister with. Wrong heart. Kasi po yun yung tinatawag ni Jesus in John chapter 10, hireling, bayaran. Na kaya ka lang tatayo, kaya ka lang magsasalita, kaya ka lang mga ngaral. Ah, this is where I get my income. Not the Apostle Paul. Because his preaching was not motivated by what he was getting. His preaching was motivated by the heart of the Lord that was placed in him to reach out to people. Kaya out of the overflow of his heart, kung saan maputa si Apostle Paul, meron at meron siyang kakausapin at meron siyang madadala kay Jesus at yung nadala niya kay Jesus, he will make sure that that person will be discipled. At dito, I want for all of us to reflect on this. If we are believers in Jesus, and not just believers, but we are growing as ministers of the Lord, dapat po ang abundant sa ating pagsasalita wherever God places us is Jesus. Kaya, maski saan ka mapunta, there is a possibility that you may be able to win somebody to the Lord. Yun, kaya dito makikita mo sa verse 4 eh. Ang kasama ni Apostle Paul, he was accompanied by Sopater from Berea, Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from Derby, Timothy, Tychicus, Trophimus from Asia. Lahat ng pinuntahan ni Paul, meron siyang naging disciple. Oh, I want this to be the heart of all of us. Nakapag ikaw CSB, alam nila, mayroon ka laging naaakay na tao kay Lord. Dito po, pampapasok na naman sa isip ko si Kaador. Yun po tatay ni Marlo. Ay, talaga, kung saan siya mapunta. I heard this from the eulogy, no? Kasi po, uh, si Kaador, he passed on just this uh, January, I, I think. At, um, at um, si Kaador, kung saan lang mapunta, meron ng kadaldalan. <laughs> at meron ng kakwentuhan tungkol kay Jesus. At ito na nga ang comment nila. Noon po si Kaador ay, ay uh, pumanaw yung mga, kunyari, may tricycle driver o may tambay o may kung sino man, may tindero. Wala na si Kaador. Sino na ang magpapayo sa akin? Sino na ang, ang mag, mag-guide sa akin? Alam niyo yung mga comments na ganyan? Oh, that shows you the impact of this life. Ang isa pa pong pumapasok sa isip ko rito, one of our church members. And um, we are one in congratulating him. Meron po tayong church member sa Coast Guard, no? Si General Angel Viliran. Hallelujah! Kapopromote lang po niya. He has just been promoted. Sa Coast Guard po kasi ang ranking, yung general is actually Commodore. The one-star general is Commodore. And so, he has been promoted. Commodore na po siya, no? He's a brigadier general. 
ang nakakatuwa sa kwentuhan namin, kung saan po siya i-assign ni Lord. Nung nandiyan siya sa Maynila, yung mga tropa niya, yung people under him, they were all believers in Jesus. Sinishare kasi niya ng gospel. And then when he was assigned in Leyte, yung mga tao ron, na-share niya kay Jesus. And so they became followers of Jesus. Ngayon po, naka-assign na siya sa Palawan. And now, it's his assignment, ipapanalo rin niya ang mga taong ito kay Jesus. That's good. Because that is what it means to be a minister. A minister grows disciples wherever he goes. Kumusta ka naman? Sa iyo bang mga napupuntahan, meron bang mga tao na naipapanalo kay Lord? O may mga taong galit lang sa'yo? <laughs> o may mga taong, ano ba nakikitang liwanag? May nakikita ba liwanag sa buhay mo? Importante po that we reflect the life and the light of Jesus in our lives. Amen? Let's move on. Andar tayo. Pangatlo, pangatlo. Ano pa masasabi natin tukol sa minister in verse 7? Ang sabi rito, On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Yan na ha. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. Matindi po ito si Apostle Paul. Pagka nasusian ito, talagang he will just keep on and on and on. So ito, sabi niya, hala. Last night ko narito, I just need to pour out. And this is number three, ha? A minister loves to pour out what he carries. A minister loves to pour out what he carries. Everybody say, pour out. Basahin ko uling verse 7. On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. Isipin ninyo. Tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy. Naalala ko tuloy yung uh, isang um, documentary. And um, you probably have seen this as well, yung Holy Spirit documentary no, ni um, Wilson. Uh, what's his name? Uh, it's, a, it's a good documentary. No? May Holy Spirit 1, Holy Spirit 2. Pangayan, finger of God even. The finger of God. No? And here in China, there, I am telling you, Ang mga believers in China, they are the hungriest of all. At nagkikwento po rito yung gumagawa ng documentary na na-invite this one missionary. Sabi sa kanya ng mga Chinese believers, Can you speak to us? Can you teach us about the Bible? Sabi niya, sure, I can do that. So, nung nagturo na siya nung morning, the whole morning, the whole morning, sabi ng mga Christians, thank you so much. Can you teach us again? Sabi niya, tomorrow? No. Sabi niya, after um, we eat, in the afternoon, and then towards the evening, whole day, nagturo siya, and then, the, the, the evening ended and then they came up to him again. Sabi, can you teach us again tomorrow? Ha, huh? sabi niya, ang akala ko kaya ako sinagad ngayon dahil sapat na yun. No. <laughs> again, the following day, the whole day, and they were not yet content with that. Ito po mabigat dyan. Alam niyo kung nasan sila? Hindi sa isang air-conditioned conference room, hindi sa isang um, um, church na kung saan may, may, may um, magandang lighting, may, may aircon, may, may PowerPoint presentation. Hindi po eh. Nandoon sila sa loob ng kweba. Wow. But the, the missionary was saying, these people are just so hungry. And this is the same story here. Si Apostle Paul, he's looking at hungry people. Alam niyo, ang isa po sa pinakamasarap na naturuan. And this I say from experience. Ang pinakamasarap naturuan 
ay yung mga taong gutom. The hungry ones will just get so much of the, the, the anointing, so much of the nutrition, so much of what God has deposited into your spirit. And because they are hungry, God will multiply the bread. Yes! Ito po si Apostle Paul, sabi rito, because he intended to leave the next day and so he kept on talking until midnight. I'm telling you, yung mga tao po na yun, because they're so hungry for it, kaya lalo pang si Apostle Paul nagpo-produce ng, nagpo-produce ng more of God's bread for these people. A true minister loves to pour out what he carries. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 7, ang sabi rito, as you go, tingnan nyo, as you go, proclaim this message, the kingdom of heaven has come near. So as you go, yun ang ginagawa ni Paul, kung saan ako mapunta, I will just proclaim it. I will just proclaim it. Everybody say, proclaim. Kumusta naman? May napaproclaiman ka ba? Importante po ito. Ha? I'm talking to every one of you. You don't need to be a pastor. You just need to be a believer. And a believer is a minister. And a minister loves to pour out what he carries. Meron ka bang binubuhusan? Meron ka bang tao na minimentoran? Look for somebody that you can pour your anointing into. 2 Timothy 4.2, sabi rito, Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Buhos lang. Everybody say, buhos lang. Oh, I can easily relate with this. Yung bang magbubuhos lang. Pagka po napunta ako sa isang lugar na yung mga tao ay talagang gutom na gutom. Lalo na yung fellowship pa na lang, yung kwentuhan na lang, hindi na yung nakaharap. Fellowship pa na lang, Pastor, Ano pa? Ano pa nangyayari do sa healing ministry? Ano pa nangyayari sa deliverance? Pastor, ano pa? Hay, naku, para ako na sususian na sige, sige, sige. And it's just amazing. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang mga taong gutom, there is this power of hunger that just gets all of this anointing out para sila man ay maimpartan. Amen? Let's move on. Finally, number four. So, tuloy po yung kwento, no? The Apostle Paul kept on talking until midnight. Nako, iniisip ko talaga rin tayo ibang mga Kristiyano. Yung inuurasan yung sermon, hala, lagpas na ng 30 minutes. Hala, lagpas na ng 40 minutes. Alam mo yun? Ay, nako, I've been to some churches na inuurasan ang sermon. <laughs> Praise the Lord naman, pagka kumilos na si Lord, hindi na sila nag-ooras. Pero dito po, let's move on, ha? Verse 8. There were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus who was sinking, <laughs> listen, sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story, from the third floor, and was picked up dead. Ah, word po ah, huwag kayo natutulog sa sermon. <laughs> Delikado. Eutychus natulog sa sermon ni Apostle Paul. Well, understandably so. It was past midnight na laglag siya. So anyway, laglag, patay. And was picked up dead. Verse 10. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said. He's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. So, ano nangyari dito? Number four. What can we say about the minister now? A minister releases the supernatural. Yun po yun. 
Kung tayo ay tunay na ministers, again, you don't need to be a pastor to be a minister. You can be an RG leader, you can be an usher, you can be an intercessor, you can be a praise team member, you can just be an ordinary member, pero lahat ng members po become ministers. A minister, lalo na sa CSB, releases, knows how to release the supernatural. Anong ginawa ni Apostle Paul dito? Well, dinampot niya si Eutychus, patay eh. I don't know kung meron dito mga durog siguro o mga baling buto. Third floor, no? Third floor. And here I'm reminded of the story of um, Pastor Jaren Lapasara. Nagkwento siya sa akin. Sabi niya, you know what? Sabi niya, Mao, it happened to us before. Sabi niya, na mayroon din the same story na laglag from the second floor. And this happened in one of their camps, no? na laglag at nandun daw sabi niya talagang patay itong kabataan patay yung kabataan at may mga baling buto and they prayed for that young man ang sabi niya we heard the crackling sound yung mga buto na bali na 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 na, na, na fracture or or na misplaced there was a crackling sound kung papaano binabalit ni Lord isa-isa yung mga buto and then the young man was brought back to life. Ganitong ganito yung kwento. Sabi ko, oh Lord, nakakakaba yung mga ganitong eksena. But truth of the matter is, yung mga ganyang nakakakaba, dyan kumikilo si Lord ng matindi. Diyan yung alam mong, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do here. I don't have the power here. I'm ill-equipped here. But it is in our weakness when God shows himself strong. Woo! I'm telling you, CSB people and those of you who are watching with us, worshiping with us in this hunger night, si Lord po gustong gusto niya na gamitin tayo, tayo na wala naman talaga ibubuga. Lord, I have no power just by myself. I have no anointing. I cannot do anything miraculous. But with you, nothing is impossible. And a minister of God will take that step of faith. Woo! Take that step of faith. Move into the supernatural. Lord, sige po, eto na yon. Eto na yon. Kaya po bahala. And lo and behold, the miracle will happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Kasi nga, ang calling po natin is to release heaven. Everybody say, heaven. Our calling as ministers is to release heaven. In Matthew, in chapter 4, verse 23. Look at this, ah. As sabi rito, Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. Everybody say, good news. Yun po ang dala natin ay eh. good news. The good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Yun ang dala-dala natin. Dala natin ng good news. So meron yung may sakit, pag-prayan, pagalingin. Meron yung sinasapian, pag-prayan, palayain. Meron yung namatay, buhayin yan in Jesus' name. Hindi ko yung kaya, Pastor. Ako rin po, hindi ko yung kaya, pero kaya ni Lord. Amen? And if we will be obedient as ministers of God, ha, si God nang bahalang manggulat sa atin. I'll end with this story. Naalala ko kasi, meron po yung isang umatend ng conference, no? I remember it was a conference of a blaze, no? A blaze conference. And I was a speaker. At chinalinch ko yung mga tao ron. Sabi ko, you know what? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, that we are to heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Sabi ko, we cannot be selective kung ano yung mga verses na sinusunod natin. Sabi ni Jesus, gawin yan, gawin yan. Bahala na si Lord maghimala. <laughs> eh, ito na. Nakakatuwa po. May isang kabataan. Sabi niya, Lord, gusto ko po yung narinig ko, yung, yung tinuro nung si Pastor Hiram. Gusto ko yun yung mag-heal the sick, mag-raise the dead, mag-cleanse the lepers, mag-cast out demons. And sure, 
So she really prayed about it. Lord, bigyan mo ako ng opportunity. Eto na. Isang araw yung nanay niya nagre-reklamo na may masakit sa kanya. May masakit sa sa internal um, organ ng nanay niya. I think it's the heart, no? And so sabi, sabi Lord, ito na yun. Ipagpipray ko na si nanay. Pinagpray niya nanay, hindi gumaling. Masakit. Pinagpray niya ulit, hindi gumaling. So sabi niya, nanay, ah, sige, dadali na nga kita sa emergency. <laughs> hindi gumaling eh. Di na lang sa emergency. Pero ito na po yun. Pagdating do sa ER, sa East Avenue Medical Center, tanda ko ito because she wrote me the letter. Pagdating sa ER, aba yung nanay para nagdahilan lang. <laughs> Sabi niya, wala nang masakit sa akin, wala nang masakit sa akin. Sabi niya, ganun, wala nang masakit, uwi na tayo. Pero yun na po eh, before they were able to leave the ER, may ipinapasok na isang tao ron, patay. No? I think, I, I forgot now ano yung dahilan ng pagkamatay pero patay no at naipasok sa ER tiningnan ng doktor and they heard it this man itong taong ito ay patay no narinig yung patay na yon she also remembered her prayer sabi niya lord ito po patay sabi niya ito na ba yung opportunity na i will raise the dead no <laughs> patay so ito po taong ito patay na ang ginawa niya ngayon She looked around, tapos yung doktor umalis, yung nurse nagtanong siya, pwede ko po yung pag-pray. And so she, pumayag yung nurse, sabi, pinag-pray niya sa pangalan ni Jesus, bumangon ka, mabuhay ka, and the guy was restored back to life. Hallelujah! Woo! That is what it means to be a minister. Take that step of faith, and the Lord will do the rest. Oh, how I pray pag sinabing CSB ay minister yan. Gusto ko yun. I just want you to know this. Ha? Ako po pagka nagsasalita sa iba't ibang lugar, conferences in different provinces, even different nations, I used to tell them, if you're sick, come to our church. And any of our people can pray for you and you will be healed. Oh yes, I tell people that uh, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all CSB people because I know that our upbringing, the way that you have been mentored and discipled is that every member of CSB is also a minister and that we all move in the supernatural. A minister releases the supernatural. Amen? Hallelujah! Sino sa inyo na bless sa ministry na ito? Thank you, God. Let's pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa buhay ni Apostle Paul na kami po as ministers of God, as ministers of the church, hindi kami nangangapa. Ano bang dapat gawin? Because you have given us these wonderful models, si Apostle Paul, the other apostles, and of course, our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, makita nyo kami. We are obedient, and we are moving, and we are taking steps of faith. Salamat po. Can we just do a prayer of commitment again? Alright, amen? Taas natin dalawang kamay. Sabi lang natin, Lord Jesus, I'm here. I know I'm an ordinary person, but I have an extraordinary God. Lord, use me to minister, to serve other people. Find me faithful in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Well, that's the word for tonight. And um, Pastor, yung Sunday, papano na? I'll make the announcements. Hintay-hintay lang po. Prayer request, pag-pray lang natin na yung lahat ng atin po mga constructions at yung mga inaayos ng mga electricals at yung mga equipment, matapos na. Alright? So that we can move on. God bless you everyone. I'll see you again on Friday and I hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you.